I grew up in a very sheltered environment. People have to understand what it was like to grow up in black, middle class, professional class Titusville. That's you impressive. valued family, faith, community, and education. That's what you valued. My mother went to Miles College, mm -hmm. as, uh, and, and did, as did her sister and her brother. And so we were a sheltered community in a lot of ways. 62 and 63, it blew that apart. Mm -hmm. Because it didn't matter any longer if you were black and educated. Your community was still one in which a bomb could go off. And suddenly, I think the black community was brought together in ways that it had been really sort of stratified mm -hmm. by education and color and lines and all kinds of artificial barriers between, between us. Um, and so 62 and 63, you suddenly, even as an eight-year-old, seven years or eight-year-old, eight-year-old, you realize that there wasn't any sanctuary, it wasn't safe. It seems to me that this city started changing when people, when bad things happened. Mm -hmm. Until that time, until the Freedom Riders, until the bombing, and bad things happened, people were accepting of the status quo. I don't think we should ever accept the status quo. Well, first of all, we start with, with the, the knowledge and the fact that we are a nation of nations and it's made up of immigrants and when you go out of the country you will find that this country is a magnet everyone is standing in line trying to get visas or some way to come here but you have the i have the first time i haven't seen it yet at any embassy where there are a group of americans lined up to try to get out of here <laughs> So Judge Clement, the ideal world uh, in the world according to Judge Clement looks like what? And how do we get there? It, 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 it looks like what? In the 50th anniversary of the Civil Rights Movement, the world is one in which there is equality of opportunity and no one is held back because of the mere happenstance of the color of his skin, his sexual, her sexual orientation, or the uh, origin, the national origin of his parents.